It was a stormy session in Lok Sabha till now. Prime Minister Modi is all set to reply. Remember yesterday when he was to the thanks of uh, President's address. But it was all a firing blaze. Tearing into the Congress, Modi fired back-to-back -back salvos at the party from highlighting scams under UPA to attacking Rahul Gandhi's Bharat Jodo Yatra. Prime Minister Modi launched a no-hold-barred attacks. Moments after those attacks, Rahul Gandhi fired a fresh questions at Modi, asking why did he not speak on Adani in Parliament and why did he not order an inquiry. Rahul Gandhi said Prime Minister helping his quote-unquote friend Adani amid the hidden work controversy. Congress, remember, has been raising this issue incessantly in the Parliament now. There have been disruptions constantly and they are basically demanding an investigation against the serious allegations. That's what I am telling. He is not answering the real question put forward by Rahul Gandhi. He is going around here and there, going around here and there. What is the country's main thrust of nowadays? What is the country need an answer from the Prime Minister? Okay, look, I will say this. Pradhan Mantri has given a very good question. But whatever question was asked from the Parliament, no question was given to the Parliament. आरोप एक बार बताए लेकिन कल हमारा मेन फोकस था हिंडनबर्ग रिसर्च पेपर में आज हमारा मेन फोकस था चीनी फौजों की अतिक्रमण में दो मुद्दों पे आप कभी सुना है पीएम ने एक लफ्ज कहे हैं पीएम अनाप शनाप बात बोलते हुए उस करोड़ों एलआईसी धारों को और स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया की खाता धारों को की इनकी क्या होगा यह हमारा सबसे बड़ा कंसर्न थी तो इस मुद्दे पे सरकार क्यों चुप्पी साधी रहे पर्टिकुलरली ऑपरेशन लीडर हु इनिशिएटेड द डिबेट वाज मिस राहुल गांधी जी ही आस्क्ड फोर क्वेश्चंस टू हिम दैट क्वेश्चंस अबाउट दादानी वेदर ही हैज ट्रैवल्ड विद दादानी how many countries they had travelled together, whether Adani has travelled separately after his visit, how many contracts Adani got it. These questions he should have answered, but he has evaded that question, instead spoke about all um, loose uh, words about Congress party. It shows that he is not genuinely, he is, it shows that his closeness towards uh, Mr. Adani is proved. And he is not ready to have an inquiry or an investigation, Supreme Court investigation or JPC against Adani deals. Look, I can't say this strong, but I can say that in the world, the conditions in India are better in the position of India. There is no one who feels good or feels bad or feels bad or feels bad or feels bad or feels bad. कांग्रेस होती या दूसरी पार्टी तो भी होता है या आज इत्तफाक हो लेकिन बाय चांस आज बीजेपी पावर में है लेकिन इंडिया एज इंडिया और उसमें सब इंडियंस को वो क्रेडिट जाता है। It was a rhetoric speech given by him hundreds of times and very very tactfully, not even taking Mr. Radhani's name or not even referring to the money lost by the poor and middle class people of this country. Honorable Prime Minister had spoken for an hour, hour and a half. It was nothing but a repetitive, rhetorical and filled with satire on opposition and heckling the opposition will not redeem you of your responsibilities. That Honorable Prime Minister should really think about. When the opposition they want to move out, they raise the issue of quorum and that is a reason that they want to move out and they don't want to stay back in the house. It is only when the situation is very critical, if there is a voting, if there is a matter of, uh, uh, if, if there is a matter of voting where uh, numbers have been counted, quorum becomes important. But not in usual debates, but nonetheless, the opposition wants to score a point by raising the issue of quorum, but the fact remains that they want to leave the house early. The Prime Minister also demolished the false, baseless allegations repeatedly made by the oppositions and proved once again that his credibility rests on the tapasya that he has undertaken in the service of the people from the last 40 years and not on the basis of 
media created headlines or opposition approved image creation. So in case you missed what uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said, here's a snippet of some of those excerpts of that highlight of the speech. Lekin, कुछ लोगों के भाषण के बाद पूरा इकोसिस्टम समर्थक उछल रहे थे पूरा इकोसिस्टम उछल रहा था और कुछ लोग तो खुश होकर के कह रहे थे ये हुई ना बात बड़ा शायद नींद भी अच्छी आई होगी शायद आज उठ भी नहीं पाए होंगे चुनाव हार जाओ ईवीएम खराब दे दो गाली चुनाव हार जाओ चुनाव आयोग को गाली दे दो क्या तरीका है अगर भ्रष्टाचार की जांच हो रही है तो जांच एजेंसियों को गाली दो सदन में भ्रष्टाचार की जांच करने वाली एजेंसियों के बारे में बहुत कुछ कहा गया देश की जनता देश के चुनाव के नतीजे ऐसे लोगों को जरूर एक मंच पर लाएंगे लेकिन वो तो हुआ नहीं लेकिन इन लोगों ने ईडी का धन्यवाद करना चाहिए कि ईडी के कारण ये लोग एक मंच पे आए हैं